the Mobile County Sheriff's Office is crediting a tracking device on a tablet for helping detectives recover numerous items from several burglaries. Local 15's Christian Jennings is live in the newsroom. Christian, you talked to the man who lives at the home where investigators say stolen items were found. I did, Greg, and he tells me he's now hired an attorney because he's innocent. It was inside this house at 2603 Cheshire Drive South, where sheriff's investigators say they served a search warrant yesterday and found guns, jewelry, and electronics, many of which had been reported stolen from the Fowl River area the same day. Steve Stewart was one of the men questioned by detectives. What can you tell us about the items that they found inside this home? They, they came on a false uh, information. Somebody gave them the wrong information. So the items that they found in your house were not stolen? No, ma'am. You didn't steal anything? No, ma'am. Investigators tell a different story. They say one of the items recovered here was a tablet similar to this one. They say it belongs to this woman who came home yesterday to a kicked-in door and ransacked house. It's just terrifying to come home and see something like that happen. You think you're safe at home and then you're not. You come home one day and your house is broken into and most of your stuff that you've worked really hard for is gone. She was too scared to show her face or home on television, but says as soon as she realized her tablet was gone, she went online and used her Android device manager to track her tablet, leading detectives directly to this home, but no arrests have been made. So we have an attorney uh, that we took this morning to uh, get our merchandise back. They took merchandise that we bought but as far as somebody gave them from some false information about uh, drugs and uh, artillery here but they didn't find it here. Lori Miles, she's a spokesperson with the sheriff's office. She says they did actually seize guns there at that house. She also says two people have been questioned from the home, but the case is still under investigation. Meanwhile, she says most of the items have been returned to the victims. Live in the newsroom, Christian Jennings, Local 15 News. Well, nearly two years.